off. I scored this. higher than you. <laughs> Alive. Hey guys, welcome back to Wife Life. So I just finished getting ready for our agenda happening in what time is it? It's 5.09 and I'm actually starting something for my 30th birthday. I'm not sure if you guys watched my first Dubai vlog and I mentioned there that I wrote down things I wanted to do before I turned 30. It's just little things that I wanted to cross off my bucket list. So I wrote it here in a notebook i got from dior i have 12 things i wanted to do before i turn 30 and i'll read them to you so first is buy a birkin which i did in japan and i think i don't know if i'm still gonna do a little story time on that but that was cross off my list two is take a wine class Third is take a cooking class. Fourth is learn how to drive. Believe it or not, I forgot how to drive. I learned it maybe eight years ago. Yeah, eight years ago when I was 21. And I never even tried to drive a car ever since then. And then I wanted to give back. I wanted to let go of a feeling that I've been carrying for the past two years. I think it's gonna be the hardest. Seven is treat a reader to a shopping spree, yes. Try to overcome my fear of a big crowd. And I'm going to overcome that in Vernice's wedding because I think she's going to have about a thousand plus guests. So that's a really, really, really big crowd. <laughs> Nine, get my dream closet, which I'm gonna vlog for you guys very soon, the design. So I'm getting that. Then is book a last minute trip abroad. Ben and I are thinking if we are going to go with our friends to Korea because we have a visa. They invited us early last month but we still haven't decided so I'm not sure if this is what I'm going to do for that bucket list of mine because believe it or not other than it's for work for I would get inquiries and then I would fly off a few days later but I've never done it and I paid for the expenses myself so it's something that's always been in my bucket list. I even wanted to do like you point the map and then wherever it lands that's where you're gonna go but the thing is I don't think mine will be up for that and especially now because there's still travel requirements sometimes there's visa so i think korea is a good i'm still thinking about it and then have a birthday party with family and friends and 11th is watch blackpink which i'd already done that was actually my last so i thought i was going to do that and find a way later this year but i'm just so happy that i got to do it in abu dhabi so i've already crossed out three things but I wanted to cross out something tonight and I found a class here in Cebu and that is the take a wine connoisseur class. Well, not really. I don't want to be a connoisseur but Ben and I love wine so, so much. It's like the few things that we have in common. When we started to like wine late last year and we just really started to like trying different wines together, I thought that taking a wine class would have been fun. So, we are going to do that tonight. I booked a class in DNB Wines that's in Crossroads and I'm going to be getting ready in maybe 50 minutes because we're gonna be leaving at 6 p.m. It's gonna be the fourth thing that I'm going to be doing before 30 bucket list and I'm gonna take you guys with me. In Siena, right? Where was it? Tuscany. Tuscany. Oh, okay, perfect. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> this one, you can still see the, the letters at the back, mm -hmm. right? So very obviously, the intensity of this is pale. The next is we do the color. So this is a rosé. Right, it's a Provencal rosé. So the color options are pink, pink orange, and orange. So there's a tinge of orange there. So if you can't smell anything from afar, that's when you swirl. And that's to aerate it. If voila paren, and this happens in like the lower quality wines, you can barely smell anything, just alcohol. Right, we're gonna try covering it. Alright. And then sniffing it. See there's more. Yeah. There's more. Right? There's more. Okay, so we're in the second wine. And so far, babe, are you learning? I'm actually learning. Yeah. But I wanna know at the end of this class if we can find out what's a good and a bad wine to buy. Like how do you gain? I think for me is that seventy. You know, Ben is actually doing really well. <laughs> Wine connoisseur. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, 
in school you hated studying, but if it's about wine, okay, yeah, Rata. You don't like so much questions. <laughs> I really want to know. Have fun. Which is my 12 before 30 that was bucket fun. list. Are 12? you ready for... I have 12 items on my list. This is the first? No, this is the fourth. I really okay. picked off three. Did you have fun? Yeah, that was fun, babe. Thanks, babe, for coming. I'm pretty tipsy. You're tipsy. <laughs> <laughs> this is tipsy Ben. That was fun. You had fun. Really you fun. You learned? I learned I actually so learned a lot. So she, had, she was really like, informative. informative. No? And she answered all her questions. So that's tipped off. I scored list. higher than you. <laughs> yeah, she really did. I think if college was all about wine, you were he would have. You were copying me the whole time. Yeah. If college was all about wine, he would have been so macum laude. So macum laude with wine. <laughs> okay, guys, so bye. That's ticked off my list. Are you a sad potato? Are you sad potatoes? Because I know you're gonna miss us. I have a treat. This is for you. And we have another one for the cheeky bear. And then of course for my love love. Are you all happy now? Are you guys happy now? You won't miss us anymore. Let's go, baby. Wow, no one knows shoes. this boy. Are you a hype boy? Thank you, huh? Thank you for the shoes. Babe, are you a hype boy? Good morning, Good morning. Good morning, guys. So it's 1 a.m. in Cebu, and we are flying back to Korea. So I'll do story time later now, but just a little intro because Korean Air actually upgraded us to a first class seat. So I really wanted to vlog, even if I'm still sleepy now. So let's see how it is. It's Ben's turn to give the okay, room Okay guys, tour. we just arrived in Hongdae, in Rice Hotel. And I'm running in two, three hours of sleep. Woohoo! Party! Oh. When you go in, you all you see is the living area. It's very hip, this hotel. It's very us. We're so young, queen size but... bed. Oh, queen size bed. Look outside. Whoa. <laughs> what is it? Buildings. Oh, then we have the back view. Of Hongdae. Oh, there's a party. Party, party place. place. And then the CR. So pretty. So you have your. I think sink. this calls for. Sorry, I look like crap. That's why he did the room tour. Shower. But and this calls for a little selfie moment. Then there's mirrors everywhere, no? Oh, yeah. Mirror here. Big mirror here. Okay, that's it. What? Are we napping? It's currently 9 a.m. Are we gonna nap? Or we just arrived leave. like 6 a.m. Yeah? Nap, 30, nap. 30 minute nap? GG, let's go! Good morning guys! So we are up from our quick nap. I still feel like I lack sleep, but I'm okay. I'm so excited for the agenda today because we are actually going to try, believe it or not, BTS's hair stylist. Like, I'm not joking. Like, I really researched long and hard if he was legit and I went through his Instagram, I went through K-pop articles, and he's really the one who BTS trusts. So I think this will be an exciting content for a lot of you guys who are fellow K-pop fans. And 
there i'm gonna get a haircut i'm gonna get a hair color so right now as you can see it's very brassy really need a color refresh it's perfect also because it's vernice's wedding coming up so i really need a refresh ben on the other hand will also be styled by bts's hairstylist so yeah we're gonna take you guys with us but first we're gonna head to brunch and then we're gonna head to gangnam to see him and i'm gonna take you guys with me let's go no one Okay, so we just finished with lunch and now we're walking to the salon. The place that you went to, it's actually like a local canteen. I don't know about canteen. It's a like a fast, fast food not restaurant. Fast food. <laughs> Faster restaurant. Faster <laughs> restaurant. We're here, super near Lang. It's on the second floor. Let's go, let's go. What is this thing you're doing? Are you gonna be a BTS member after this? Yeah, I'm the eighth member. <laughs> it's coming soon. Do you like mine? It's nice. You like it? Mm. Dark. Better now. Hey guys, so next on our agenda is we're finally going to New Cake. New Dick? I don't know how I say it, but it's a gentle monster cafe. I've been wanting to visit that ever since it opened and we're finally gonna do that today. So I'm not used to being black haired guys. This is so weird. <laughs> lunch today we're just gonna be around hong day and then we're gonna head to lotte world so we're basically doing a thing so we didn't get to do the last time we were here and there let's look for something to eat it's lunchtime actually yeah it's lunchtime good noon <laughs> <laughs> it's a face done with lunch and now we're walking to King's Cross Cafe because finally Ben likes Harry Potter as much as I do because he started playing the Harry Potter game so it's like a famous Harry Potter cafe here in Seoul and that's where we're going you're so beautiful girl 
Wow, this is a huge. Is this the entrance? Babe, we have to park my broom. <laughs> oh wow, this is so cool. Damn. I didn't think it would be this big. Next up, we are in the dormitories. Oh, this is like the the hall. From a very long day in Lotte World. <laughs> in Lotte World. Oh, no wonder they call it Lotte World because it's really a different world of shopping. <laughs> anyway, Ben and I are just resting a little bit because we are gonna head to the bar. Apparently, there's like a bar in our hotel that is famous in the Hyundai area. Like, it's really highly recommended. That's why we're gonna check it out. But I have to chill. My back is killing me from all the bags and all the walking. Lotte World is actually like about an hour away by subway from where we're staying, which is in Hongdae. So it's a lot to sit in that subway car for 56 minutes. So there. Are you an astronaut? Yes. Are you going to the moon? Feel the song, da. San Kapunta to the moon. The moon. <laughs> so we're now here. It's a little speakeasy right by where their breakfast buffet is. And you just enter. It's this little bar. <laughs> Good morning guys! So we are starting our day here in the Noryangin fish market. So this is all over Netflix, this fish market, because you actually buy the king crab yourself and then they cook it in a restaurant. I'm not sure if it's in the basement or the upper floor. But anyway, I'm sure you've seen this in some vlogs, but if you haven't, I'm gonna take you guys with us. So we're very excited. We saved our appetites for this. It's about 1 p.m. So we made sure that it's after lunchtime. So hopefully there's no lunch hour rush. So let's go. It's alive. Mommy. 
what you get for us? Jumbo shrimp. How much? 8,000. One. One. For all of that? 2,000 per piece. So how much is that? 100 pesos, maybe. Each? Yeah. Damn, and that's or, yeah. 85 pesos guys, it's so fresh and huge. You can never get this in the Philippines at that price. Yeah. Wow. Wanna see cholesterol? How you doing over there? Oh my god. Oh my god, that is cholesterol over there. <laughs> Ayaw in town. <laughs> So guys, we devoured this king crab, crab rice, crab fat rice, no? Crab fat, alligator Then alligators. Get four of these scallops, but also devoured. How is it? I feel it in my head. I don't keep on me, but it's so good, guys. It's our new salmon garden. If you love seafood, you have to try this. But this one is the best. I think it's the best fried rice I've ever tried. But it's so deadly that I'm scared to finish more. It's deadly good. Mm, too good. <laughs> so good, guys. Eh? Uh, not too much, just uh, enough. Yeah. 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 Yeah.